Hello tubers. This is a follow-up video of the Chinese MPPT charge controller. Do they work? Well, this is a wind charge controller and the answer to that question is simply yes. Yes, they work and they work very well, but it's not without its problems. This is only in later findings as I continue to test. And I do not wish to push this on to say it's more than it is because the end user needs to know what they're purchasing and this does involve some false advertisement. With that said, I'll try to break that down. I ran tests with this charge controller as a 24 volt charge controller with the Istabreeze i700 and this circulated as dump load. It worked and it worked very well without question, no complaints. However, in my findings during this testing, I need to give the breakdown so you, the end user, purchasing one of these, understands what you're getting because the labeled information on these products from China is clearly falsified. The question, do they work? Yes, they do, and they work very well if you understand what you're getting or what you're buying because they are mislabeled and falsely mislabeled. So, at 48 volt, no, 24 volt, we will use the number 25 because LIFO 4 batteries at 25 volt are a dead battery, or at least that's what I choose to test with in them numbers. With 12 volt on LIFO 4, a 12.5 volt battery is a dead battery that I choose to test with in my numbers, and for those reasons, them numbers will be used. Understanding that, we look at this charge controller and I'll show you the sticker in a minute and you'll see what I mean by that. So at 24 volts for my system this worked incredible I have nothing but good praise for it. However in the misleading results I'll do the math for you. The brake comes on with this charge controller at 32 amps. So 32 amps multiplied by 25 volts that equals 800 watts. That means that at 800 watts the turbine is created, the brake comes on to protect the charge controller. So we understand that, right? Moving on, with a 12 volt turbine, things here now become complicated because the outcome is very different. What I mean by that is, I'm going to show you this sticker. Okay, I'm going to try to zoom in as best I can. And it says, whether you can see that or not, that wind and solar charge controller it says wind is 1000 watts solar is 600 watts and the battery is for 12 or 24 volt that is the case what is not the case is the wind at 1000 watts so that is the label factory sticker from the factory understanding that with a 12 volt system let's say you buy an 800 watt 12 volt turbine. Well, that's not a good idea with this charge controller because it is not a thousand watts. Now on a 24 volt system, I can get 800 watts before the brake engages with my I-700. Not a bad idea because I do not exceed the brake uh, rating or that uh, wattage. What I mean is the I-700 will max out at 800 watts. At 800 watts, this kicks the brake on at 32 amps for a 24 volt system. At a 12 volt system, this is only rated at 12.5 volts multiplied by 32 amps equals out to be 400 watts. So at 12 volts with a 12 volt turbine, at 400 watts, the brake will be applied to this charge controller. Now the sticker says 12 or 24, 1000 watts. It's not the case. So let's say you buy an 800 watt, 12 volt, wind turbine. For that matter, a 5 or a 600 watt 12 volt wind turbine. You cannot exceed 400 watts on 12 volts because 12.5 volts multiplied by 32 amps equals 400 watts. Understanding that, we move forward. At 400 watts 12 volts, this charge controller will put the brakes on. Okay, there is an internal fuse in it that's 40 amp. That says that 40 amp multiplied by 12.5 volts equals 500 watts. Okay, 
we understand the maximum charge capability of this charger to be a 500 watt charger. Now, with the brakes on at 32 amps or 400 watts on a 12 volt system, okay, this dump load resistor will handle from my readme's and research 32 amps. So again, amps are amps in this case. So at 400 watts, I reached the 32 amps for this single one dump load resistor to engage. What happens if your five, six, or 800 watt turbine pumps out more power than the 400 watts? Well, it's obvious that this brake is gonna to continue to be applied and it will have to be applied harder, forcing the wind turbine further strain. Okay, understanding that going in. On my 24 volt system, it's a good pair match for the Estabreeze. Very much so indeed. Great, fantastic charge controller. Not so much with a 12 volt. It is not labeled to be a 500 watt 12 volt charge controller, which it should be. It is labeled as a thousand watts 12 or 24 volts. Understanding that if you buy this charge controller for a 12 volt wind turbine, the maximum harvest you can get from it is 400 watts before the brakes are applied to protect the charge controller. Because 32 amps multiplied by 12.5 volts is 400 watts. Understanding that if the 800 watt wind turbine in high winds tries to kick out a much bigger performance, well, you got 32 amps in there at 400 watts. If this produces 500 watts, you've now hit the rated fuse rating, 40 amps. 40 amps times 12.5 volts equals 500 watts. That means this charge controller at 500 watts, even with the brake applied, and 32 amps sent into this dump load resistor. If you produce more than the 500 watts, you run the risk of burning up this charge controller. Now, an 800 watt, 12 volt wind turbine on a 500 watt charge controller does not make a good timber match. So are these a good charge controller? Yes, they are. I got to say, but you need to understand doing your homework that on a 12 volt system, these are only rated for 400 watts, period and then the brake is applied. In a high wind condition, I can't give you the outcome. I can say it has to be a good timber match for this charge controller and this resistor for 32 amp. So if you create 500 watts with this charge controller, you do run the risk of burning up this charge controller because 500 watts is 40 amps multiplied by 12.5 volts equals 500 watts. That means the rated fuse on the board has been met at the 40 amp, and if you blow the fuse, the wind turbine now freewheels. Everything power-wise going into this is gonna be shut off, and the turbine in a high wind situation is gonna be freewheeling. So knowing that going in, that is not given information from these Chinese charge controllers, so I did not wanna give false reports on these to say that they are good, because yes, they are good. Without question, this is a learning channel for education purposes and testing. I only want this information circulated because if you have a higher rated turbine on a 12 volt system with this charge controller, you need to understand this is 400 watts equals 32 amps at a 12 volt system. So knowing that going in, that information is not given and it, and it has been falsified by the Chinese market. And these are circulated across the North American uh, Amazon to be a good charge controller and that they are however they don't come without their problems and you need to understand on a 12 volt system these are not matched with the numbers that they are stated for so knowing that going in 400 watts maximum on 12 volt if that's understood then if you buy an 800 watt turbine it's not a good pair match for this charge controller understanding that do they work yes they do they work very well in fact and i do recommend them if properly pair match. The problem with China is they false this information and as long as you know about it going in, that is the results in my testing and my findings. So until next time, tubers, thanks for watching. That's all I got.